this morning, so we got a beef grant in the fall, which put that in the Georgia Beef Council, sent out a note to, you know, tell us why he should give you money um, for buy, buy product to show your kids. So I told him I wanted to just show y'all, but I wanted to show y'all this, um, it's called sweet breads. Anybody had sweet breads? Not like a croissant or something, but. So it's the thalamus gland in a cow, uh, and you kind of soak it, and then you press it, and then you bread it and fry it. It sounds really gross, but it tastes really good. Uh, but I couldn't, you know, I can have to buy a whole lot of them, or, or I just couldn't find them. So I just ran the sands. I got a beef cone. There's one in that pot, and this, this is a pressure cooker. I do only have one at home to get into the pot. So it just it heats up the liquid in there and it traps in the steam and it creates pressure to, um, to kind of cook, cook whatever, cook cakes in there. Um, but so with this, is, we just put the tongue in there. So once once the steam stops, I'll take the lid off because it's under pressure. Like my grandmother had one, but it's on the stove. And you talk messing with it, like these valves wear out, and they're just, they're kind of dangerous. Oh, the very first. But, so we got the beef tongs, got that in, the beef cheek, which was the cheek of the cow. Oh, you see that, um, and it's raising with um, tomatoes and onions, celery, carrot. Yeah, great cheese. Great cheese. Um, so that'll go. That'll be in there for another hour or so. Um, these. So there's two, two different types of shortbreads. Two different types. So this, this is probably what is the most common. These are called flanken. So. Yeah. So, these are, so if you have, my arm is the couch rib, but these are just cut in the chunks. These, if you have the whole rack of ribs, they're sliced. Like, so there's one, two, three bones. So these are sliced this way. So it's, they're all joined together, okay? Um, when I was looking it up, they're most common for Korean barbecue. So that's what we'll do. We're just going to make this marinade. It's going to sit overnight and then I'll grill them. And then Thursday, I'll get a taste of the rest of this. Uh, along with the tongue and the beef cheese. We're also dealing with tiger tips. Sorry, is that? You know, I mean, that's not. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's infested. Right? It's, it's stomach. Yeah, so it's 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 in its belly. So this is typically like the extra once it, it cooks. So next to you, oh, say I'm just gonna put this in basically a broth of water, vinegar, salt, vanilla, bay leaf, and just let that poach. And that kind of render out kind of the, the interior because it's in the cow's stomach, so it's made to do both things and just walk around. Um, all right, so this marinade, I thought we had fresh ginger, we had ginger, but I couldn't find it. Um, so, like, usually, like ginger, like it sits out and it's just so bad. If you buy a, a knob of ginger at the store or the corner market, you can use what you want and then just put the rest of it in the free bag, so you just pull it out and trade it or. Whatever, just use it after you eat. Okay, so it just helps kind of prolong that. It doesn't have any, so I'm just going to use it like you So it's soy sauce, sesame, sugar, honey, beer, in, which is like uh, Japanese cooking wine. Um, sesame oil, sugar. I mean, it called for an Asian pear. And honestly, I didn't feel like going to the farmer's market yesterday. So I just, this is a, just a red pear that's kind of not right. Like an Asian pear 
they're, they're about the same size, but they're usually kind of they're more like this color, this golden color, and they're real crunchy and they're real tart. So they're mainly used to uh, eat with slice on them, but then you soak them in beer and water and garnish salads with them. With this, we're going to grate it and, and put it in a beer. Okay, so it's just going to add some, a little bit of sweetness, a little more sweetness. You know, we got honey. The beer is kind of sweet, and sugar. Okay, um, and then pepper, sesame seed, and scallion. Okay, so that will sit, and that will all that acid and all the acid, and then will will get into this fiber to kind of break them down. When you grill them, that sauce kind of makes that. Y'all, y'all eat green barbecue. Kind of gets that glaze on top to that. All this, you know, the honey and sugar and soy will caramelize on the grill and get that kind of charry sweet texture. Right? Um, and right on top of that, if y'all want to look, y'all can look in there. There's a top oh. floating brown. Right, so there's yeah, the other one. Yeah, there's a tongue in there and there's a tongue in here. All right, so what, what we'll do is I'll take that out and put it in the refrigerator, and then it's going to, um, once it cools off, we'll peel off. Um, we'll peel off the outside. It's it's not a shell, but it's like it's, it's like literally when you peel it, it, it feels like your taste buds on your tongue. So we'll, we'll peel that, um, peel that off, and then inside it's like, um, it's kind of like the texture of the bologna. We just hit your context. Um, I'll come to the edge to talk to you. I'll see what it looks like. Yeah, but it's going to be like All right. Okay. All right. And so all these cuts are fairly inexpensive. Like the beef tongue is like three dollars a pan. And then the these short ribs are for compared to like a blade of yarn that's like eight dollars a pound. Right, so I'm just going to lay those in a flat layer. Uh, you can also put plunk in like in the crock pot, like my mom does, for like eight hours. Yeah, any of this stuff you can put in the, in the, in the crock pot, soy cooker, um, and just braid it. Yeah, my sister is a terrible cook. I tend to make this one time in the crock pot. And it's it was like hard and rock and after it was like <laughs> oh. yeah, it's, it was not edible. <laughs> yeah. She tried, but she's just not not good. Yeah, no, no. We want to make everything. Be, be, be like longer rotate preparation or like a really good marinade or just an instant pot or frog pot to break it down. You can't just like if you just grill this right now, probably would not sound good. Because you can see like all that, all that marbling, and all that, especially in here, it's all uh, a connected tissue, like a, like a tendon, like in your, your hands. And... Not marbling, it ain't it. That's the first 
if you want to see the marbling and it's big, but that's like what's going to happen. Yeah, so all that, you know, all that stuff will change. That marble is going to come. Sometimes the kind of depends more on the kind of how the town treats. Because, like, you'll hear a lot of stuff, um, they call it like, they call it a grass finish or a grass bed. I just, I don't know. You could and you could do this in a blue process like this. Yeah. Oh, that is I didn't think about it. Does anybody ever have like sweet bread or tongue or beef tea? When I went to Colombia, I had like a soup with like cow tongue in it. Yeah, I think I've had it. You'll see a lot of these pepper cut foot in soups because then they cook a lot. Sugar. Yeah, this is point yeah. So sugar, soy sauce. Sugar, soy, water. This is pan. And this, like, you can put your wine in. Perfect. Um, you can. It's just, I'm not saying it doesn't taste as good. Well, not really for any of the taste. No, but but to that point, the rule of thumb is if, if you're not if you wouldn't normally eat it, then why would you cook it? I mean, we buy from clients here. We're not allowed to bring in the real wine. But if you're like home and you can actually cook with real wine, who's that instead of cooking? That's that. That was just that's the question. Um, cooking wine because like regular wine and the alcohol is well we're not allowed to bring like regular yeah, wine. Alcohol. and then there's some religions that don't drink alcohol mm -hmm. they can Makes all those. Yeah. You know, like I said, you could do this in the blender. We process it really easy. Just chunk everything up, put it in there, and then pull it through. Right? But yeah. so then we'll just put this. And if you want to move the program, oh, okay. you can't see it in the video. Oh. Right there. Yeah. Just make sure that all this your marinade is touching. Why do you want to make your marinade touching everything? So some or else yeah, it's all some but right. yeah. everything is it has nice flavor. Yeah, and then probably before I leave I'll just flick everything just so everything was 
I would have 